through the grind with um, with uh, planning your meals and everything and so that's what we're going to be talking about today and I'm just curious um, what is your uh, most difficult thing about Thanksgiving if you don't mind comment um, are you new at plant-based is this going to be your first uh, plant-based um, Thanksgiving or have you done it before um, oh, Leslie, <laughs> um, she'd rather see me anyway. Well, thank you. We'll just do lots of talking rather than uh, looking at the recipes. I mean, we'll talk about the recipes, but I won't be able to show them to you. Um, but that's okay. Now I have figured out this is the first time I've actually been able to go live on desktop. When I've done it from desktop before, it's been video recordings. So this will be the first time. Um, but yeah, oh, Veronica, it's your first uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, so you're not sure yet what uh, maybe is the most, I don't know, maybe you do know what's the most difficult thing you're concerned about. Hey, Sandy King, good afternoon to you too. You just now watched the brown gravy. Oh, good. Isn't that such a simple recipe? That will definitely be on my menu. I've actually decided to change a few things up Um from have my little list of what we're gonna do. We have two family get-togethers for Thanksgiving, and um, so I had my list, and I think I'm gonna change it around a little bit. Um, Leslie says her most difficult thing is avoiding the temptations of the non-compliant food. Yeah, um, I hear you because um, whether we we're, we're doing one Thanksgiving get-together here at our house, and you know, only a small fraction of the family is plant-based um, and then we're doing another one at my mom's house there's more of us uh, my sister Jenna Michelle who's on here she's plant-based um, but uh, there's just you know very few of us but you still want to have plenty to eat and I know everybody brings their dishes we may do it differently than some of you guys I mean I know some folks uh, make all the food themselves and have the family come over but we don't really do that we um everybody brings a dish so i'm curious how many of you you are making the thanksgiving dinner for everybody um and how many of you everybody brings a dish it's easier to me if everybody brings something because we bring what we uh can eat and um Everybody gets to do what they want to, and I just try to make plenty of food and delicious food that, you know, non-plant-based folks can eat, too, uh, because I'm really trying to make the food look good and taste good and make them curious about um, plant-based. Hey, Tony Reynolds, you are, Tony, you are, um, are you, you are having your first plant-based um, year? I'm not sure which one that one means, but... Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad all of you guys are here. And uh, we are going to just mainly discuss uh, what you're making, what I'm making. And I'll tell you some of my go-tos because I, this is my 10th, yeah, my 10th plant-based uh, Thanksgiving. And so um, I can share some of our successes. Bonnie Darby you love you love variety yeah you love variety when everybody brings a dish it makes it so much easier veronica i have to take 10 pounds of mashed potatoes and gravy wow that's a lot corn casserole all plant-based that is awesome um so i kind of usually stick to i'm looking at your comments so i can answer you guys i usually stick most of the time each year to the same you know kind of menu and i'll take a little a little different because we have some family that goes to both family get-togethers because it's two sides of the family like my siblings go to both sides uh, of our get-togethers and then others that will be there that are only going to get what i make for that particular so we do it on thursday and we do it on friday um well actually thursday is going to be my husband's family here so um yeah, it's going to be interesting, but uh, so, man, that's a lot of mashed potatoes, Veronica. I thought about making mashed potatoes, and I have in the past. We just had those uh, the other day, so I'm leaning towards not doing that this time, but they go so well if you're going to make the vegan meatloaf. Um, Drew and Michelle, if you don't care, um, since you're, are you on here? I actually don't see you. I think, I know you, you said you're going to be on here, but, um, 
if you don't mind, I actually might be able to do that. Uh, what will happen if I, I don't know what will happen if I change tabs, but if you're on here, if you don't mind putting the, actually put the 46 uh, Thanksgiving recipes, you, you guys can all go to the website and there's a search bar. And if you type Thanksgiving in the search bar, we have an article up. And it's got, um, I'm going to name off, I guess I'm going to have to go there myself. Um, let's see what happens when I click. Maybe I stay with you and you won't be able to see my screen, but I'll be able to tell you what uh, all the dishes. So normally um, I will make vegan um, meatloaf or last year I had a lot of success. I think probably the most success with the um, shepherd's pie because you know shepherd's pie is topped with um, mashed potatoes and it's made this one's made from lentils and it looks really good and it tastes great as a matter of fact I remember um, last year my dad was eating it and he asked me after he ate it if it was plant-based and I said yeah it definitely is and he said it's delicious because the the lentils actually have a smoky almost not barbecue but a smoky um, seasoning to them and so then it's topped with those mashed potatoes and it's absolutely delicious so um, that was my plan I actually told my sister that's last Sunday that's what I was gonna make but I think I'm changing my mind because another recipe that I have made we've been talking about soy curls a lot lately so I thought I might make a it's called a, um, it's in that list of the 46 recipes. Let me see what I actually called it. I think I called it chicken, mock chicken casserole. Um, and it's made with my cheese sauce. I know a lot of you guys have tried the cheese sauce before and it's really good. And you use soy curls and the soy, I, I would even say non-plant-based people um, would have trouble um, realizing that, that that it's not chicken because the soy curls have one ingredient. I know those of you who tuned in um, a lot or have read the articles, it's one ingredient, which is soybeans, and you just rehydrate them and they taste uh, like whatever you hydrate them. Here comes Robocop, guys. Give me just a second. I'm gonna turn her off. Robocop is the vacuum cleaner. I bet a lot of you have a Robocop, <laughs> and she's gonna come in here in a second and make noise, so I'm gonna. I am going to stop her. Pause. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think the ones that I would suggest, if this is your first uh, plant-based Thanksgiving, or if you're looking for something different than your normal um, varieties, then um, let me see. Oh, she's posting for me. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, um, Probably my favorite so far to serve for Christmas and Thanksgiving is lentil shepherd's pie because I've had the best feedback from uh, non-plant-based people. And I think probably the reason is, you guys may hear this a lot, but when I say or you say vegan meatloaf, um, they expect... The meatloaf the vegan version to taste you know nearly identical to what they're used to with meatloaf and though uh, our vegan meatloaf is terrific um, it'll you know they'll it won't fool anybody it won't make them think that it is really uh, regular meatloaf so I think when you throw in the shepherd's pie it really does um, thank you Bonnie Bonnie put up the shepherd's pie appreciate that guys look at y'all Leslie all of y'all are on it. Um, uh, let's see. What is this? Henry Scott uh, was replying to Veronica. Veronica, what did you... Oh, I, I bet this is about your mashed potatoes, Veronica. He says, oh my gosh, you must have been the second woman God created after Eve. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Oh, wait. This, you know what? We've got a spammer. We'll just let him go. Um, that is one of those spammer guys. I think I can probably block him, but um, I'll delete him for right now because that is, uh, yeah, he's just a spammer. We'll get rid of him. And uh, but yeah, uh, I thought he was uh, 
responding to your mashed potatoes because that's a lot of potatoes. Uh, but thank you for putting that up because uh, Bonnie put up the recipe for the lentil um, shepherd's pie. And like I said, if you are on the fence about what to make, that is a good one. Um, I love also the um, the um, soy curl one that's going to be a mock chicken casserole. It's got like a breading of topping um, and the cheese sauce and it's delicious but i can't tell you for sure because i haven't tried it on a big crowd yet um not like we're gonna have um so we'll see how that goes but i i believe that's what i'm gonna do um it's because i think it's good i think it will be a hit so uh Drina michelle she's taking oh you're taking curry with rice okay even you did that last year in that hollowed out pumpkin and that was delicious um, so that's another great option. And you know, some of you may, it's not traditional. Um, well, curry isn't traditional, but it was delicious when she made it last year too. Um, but lasagna, um, lasagna makes a great display because it's so pretty. And there are two lasagna recipes. One is Chef AJ's uh, and one is mine. And they're both on the website because Chef AJ let us publish hers. And I think think those either one of those I'll tell you the um, the lasagna recipe that's mine back in the day when I first went plant-based um, one of the things that I did after you know I started getting really comfortable um, I didn't do it for very long probably about a year a little over a year but um, I had uh, a young woman who wanted to go plant-based she lived nearby and I would go to her house every week and we would get in her kitchen and I would teach her how to uh, cook plant-based and we would make enough food for her we'd package it up and uh, she would have it for the whole week and that was a lot of fun uh, the lasagna was probably her favorite. I don't remember her liking anything else as much as the lasagna. So, um, and you know, she was very new to being plant-based and, um, she wasn't even a hundred percent at that time. So if she liked it, um, I think that it's another good winner, uh, that you could try out on your family and friends. Oh, Louise is headed to Branson, Missouri. Um, that's, uh, I guess for the holidays, that's, or for Thanksgiving, that's great. Uh, so, um, but yeah, I, I think, um, let me name off a couple of others that I like. So, so far we've got, uh, the vegan meatloaf, lentil shepherd's pie, which is probably first on my list. What I'm making this year, which is the mock chicken casserole. Um, I also listed baked crispy tofu because you can, it's kind of got a, lot, a light breading on it. And then there's a golden gravy that's really simple to make that you can pour over the top of it. And it's really good. Um, if you're feeding a lot of people who are not plant-based, um, maybe tofu wouldn't be the best because I know um, some people have an issue with tofu's texture and these you just slice so it's not like you're making them into anything they are tofu uh, slices that are marinated and then breaded and then baked and then you pour the gravy over it but if you want to look at that that's a baked crispy tofu recipe and then the lasagna those are the main dishes does anybody else have main dishes that you are planning to make this year. Um, I'm just curious, what is your plan for a main dish? Um, if you've made up your mind, and I know we're getting down to the wire now, I mean, it's next week, so, um, Tony, she's the only person plant-based, okay, in your group. That makes it tough. I know it makes it tough. I just always take plenty of food, um, for myself and and depending on the people that I know are plant-based there uh, as well as letting other uh, non-plant-based folks try the food um, and hopefully I always try to take things that are going to have a good um, they're going to receive them well my sister uh, got to try the chocolate balls that I, I put up 
uh, a little over a week ago, I think. And so Sunday we were together and she said, and maybe it was mom, I can't remember. They said, uh, bring the chocolate balls uh, to, her, to mom's house. So I am planning to do that. There's no baking. Uh, and it's just chocolate balls if you want to look it up on the website. But that is a great dessert to make. It's simple. And I guarantee you everybody will love those. They will go over well. I would just say if you are feeding a crowd and everybody's bringing dishes and all that, um, and that's going to be your only dessert, I would say take some out for yourself before you put it out on the table because you may go back for dessert and there not be any left. I'm not kidding. Um, so I would suggest, um, uh, I would suggest definitely doing that and make plenty of them because uh, they're good. And I, that is something I'm going to do. I'm also going to make a uh, chocolate cake. Um, you can find it on that list of 20 or, or 46 Thanksgiving recipes on the website. See, this is where I was going to show you the website and scroll through with you. That's the reason I had planned to try to do the face share in the corner or in the screen share so that I could show you these recipes. But because it didn't work out with the technical thing, then um, we're having to just wing it. But that's okay, uh, especially with Jenda putting all these um, and all of you guys putting these links up. That's very very helpful. Mary Lou. Mary Lou, I love your name. You're also the only person, so you take your own food. Yeah, I, you know, if I'm going to a big family thing like we are, like for instance, to my mom. So this is what I'm taking to mom's. I've scratched out um, the, um, I scratched out the little shepherd's pie because I may be making that for the other thing, but I'm going to do the uh, mock chicken casserole. I'm going to take broccoli salad. Uh, it's easy to make, and that one is another one nobody ever realizes that it's plant-based. They just think it's a regular broccoli salad. I use my own homemade mayonnaise. It's on that list, too, that um, is up in the comments section. It's in the sides. I broke that list down into main dishes, and I think there are six of them that we just talked about, and then side dishes that I'm going to name off some of them for you just a minute. I won't be able to show you, but I can name them off, and you can go there and look for yourself. Um, but broccoli salad is one of them, and if you are trying to impress people, take some broccoli salad because... Um, it, it just turns out so well, and even with the homemade vegan mayonnaise, nobody ever realizes that it uh, isn't what they're just used to. Um, okay, Diane's going to her son's house for Thanksgiving, and she, wow, she's the only one too. So there's a lot of onlys up here. That, that gives us uh, some community here with, uh, it looks like that's the going trend. And she usually takes plant-based stuffed shells. I don't tell them it's plant-based, and they love them. That's awesome. Diane, what are they stuffed with? Um, I'm just curious. Um, that sounds delicious, and I, and I love that they don't even know that they're plant-based. That's awesome. Um, let me see what else. Oh, gosh, yeah, we've got, thank you, guys. We've got all these uh, recipes up here. Um, what does that one say? Okay, Bonnie. Bonnie says, if you don't want to, oh, yeah, Bonnie, are you the one? I think you probably, somebody... Uh, she's talking about the, um, Bonnie is, I think, are you talking about the chocolate balls? Because the chocolate balls that I mentioned, uh, I crumble up rice cakes, but somebody messaged me, and Bonnie, I'm thinking it might have been you. Somebody messaged me and said uh, they were using rice um, cereal, and I never even thought of doing that, but like Rice Krispies. And uh, and use those instead. But they, they messaged me, if it was you, Bonnie, asking me about the measurements. So I actually had to go into my kitchen and crumble up one of those rice cakes to find out. I think it was three quarters cup is what it was. But uh, good to know that the Rice Krispies um, work. I did not know that. Didn't even think about it. But that is good. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad you tried them and liked them. Uh, my mom was eating them. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, you stuff them with seasoned tofu. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Uh, you, you don't, if, if you have a recipe for that, Diane, if you want to put it up um, in the comment section, that would be great because that sounds absolutely delicious. And it's another great option um, for anybody that might want to do that. So broccoli salad I'm taking. And um, I have mashed potatoes and gravy because... 
that was my plan. I'm, my list is probably, I'm just changing it all over the place. Um, I know they go over well. Like I said, we just had them, so I, I'm still not 100% sure that I'm doing that. But chocolate balls is on the list. And uh, for the other get-together, it's shepherd's pie, broccoli salad, and chocolate cake. That is what I'm taking. So I take about three items, uh, but I take large quantities of it so that there is plenty for other people to try uh, and make sure that we get. Leslie has a random question. Tofu. Can I use extra firm for something that is to be creamy, or does it remain grainy after blending? Silken is impossible to find here. Um, very, very good question, Leslie. And so you're going to be making something creamy. If you can, you find the tofu um, that I, I would need to know. Maybe I, you can. You can interchange them. Uh, you would want to go with the softest version of it that um, that you can find. Oh, you, extra firm is the only one. Okay. Um, you can, uh, you definitely would have to blend it more. There's two kinds of tofu. There's the tofu that you can get in the produce section, and then there's the tofu that's shelf stable. You can find it, you know, and it's, you know, with it, you've got probably a year to use it. So it really is going to depend too on the type of tofu. In the produce section, um, when it says firm and extra firm, it's pretty firm. Um, a lot of oftentimes, at least in Ingalls where we are, they'll have the soft version in the produce section. You know, it has to stay refrigerated. You have to uh, use it by a short amount of time. Um, but if you can find it on the shelf, and in our grocery store, it's in the Asian section. Um, but if you can find the shelf shelf stable tofu, um, any version of it, firm, extra firm, it's just not the same uh, texture. It has less if there's less water packed in it. But if you can find the shelf stable kind, then uh, oh, okay, Louise, you've got the shelf stable. Okay, oh, you're saying you can order it? Yeah, you can. I, I actually do order it on. Uh, Dren de Michelle, yeah, buy it in bulk. Yeah, I do too. You, when you buy it in bulk, like on Amazon, they send you 12, um, it's a case. There's 12 of them, but we use so much. Thank you for putting that up. She put up a link where you can get it on Amazon. Uh, we use so much of it because we use it for mayonnaise. We use it for chocolate mousse. Um, mayonnaise is the, the main thing, but I use it for making ranch dressing. All kinds of sauces so we go through it and if you buy the shelf stable kind you don't have to worry about using it very quickly like you do with the produce um, type uh, what the produce type three weeks maybe something like that and you have to use it or it goes bad or you have to freeze it and you can freeze it but my, my camera looks acting weird but if you freeze the uh, tofu guys you won't be able to this is one thing you do need to know don't freeze tofu that you want to use in something creamy like sauces um, because it changes the texture and it will never go back to creamy. It makes it more spongy and um, it won't be suitable for. It's great if you freeze it and you need it for things like a breakfast scramble or even like that baked crispy tofu that I was talking about using for um, a main dish for Thanksgiving. Things like that it's great for. Um, but not for creams. If you freeze it, you've passed, been able to use it for creamy um, things. So uh, if you can get the shelf stable kind and order it on Amazon, then you won't have to worry about trying to find it in the store. But Whole Foods has it. I know here we have a grocery store chain called Ingles. They have it. It's usually found in the Asian sections. Um, and um, isn't it called silken tofu? That gets confusing uh, because silken tofu also, uh, Reba's asking about silken tofu. Uh, even silken tofu, uh, yes, it is called silken tofu. And there's firm and there's extra firm. And a lot of people think because it's called silken, then it's the softest variety. But it is just the shelf stable variety. And uh, yes, you are right. And um, yeah, you're welcome. Leslie said, thank you about the tip for freezing. So it is great.
and you never really need to freeze the kind that's shelf stable only the kind that's produced with a short life um, but yeah so uh, we do go through a lot of tofu and um, and if you're going to be making the broccoli slaw or anything like that then you're going to need uh, tofu to make the mayonnaise mayonnaise is super super simple we've made it on the live show before I think we have I've definitely done videos of it um, if we haven't done it on the live show before we will do it because it's like five ingredients it's tofu um, Dijon mustard a little bit of salt um, a little bit of uh, I use red wine vinegar and a little bit of sweetener and so you can use date a little bit of date sugar if you want to or, or pure cane sugar or whatever your sweetener is I would use the the granular type because you want to get it the right consistency and a blender that's all there is to it and then you'll have it for sandwiches uh, here in the south we use um, tofu or we use mayonnaise to make mashed potatoes so um, you know if, if you're taking mashed potatoes and you're using my recipe you're gonna need mayonnaise for that so you'll find yourself going through a lot of um, yeah Leslie firm is the softest um, oh you mean for the shelf stable I've actually seen it in soft before but it might not I've seen it on the shelf at Ingalls before but I don't know it uh, Amazon may may not have uh, the that one but yeah so okay let's talk about some side dishes and we're talking about it kind of with the mashed potatoes I'm gonna switch um, so here oh here's another one that I've made uh, for a side dish for Thanksgiving and for Christmas that goes over very well is scalloped potatoes uh, cheesy scalloped potatoes using my cheese sauce it's actually like in a casserole dish um, they are so good and uh, they they are well received too if you haven't tried the hash brown casserole I put it up earlier today that's another one it's great for brunch um, if you are doing brunch or something at your house but it's also great as a side dish and you cannot go wrong with it and I use frozen hash browns in it uh, and yes I they are they are completely frozen when I put them in the casserole dish I've somebody asked me recently if I defrost them and I don't you just make the cheese sauce uh, first and like uh, for me I've already made the cheese sauce and I've got it in the freezer so that's gonna help me for these Thanksgiving dishes that I will be using it in because it will go in the soy curl uh, mock chicken casserole I don't have to make the cheese sauce uh, it's already I've already made it so if you wanted to do something this week to prepare uh, and you and you are using um, any of the dishes that call for the cheese sauce then go ahead and make it now go ahead and make it now and then you'll have it ready and if you're doing it now you wouldn't even need to freeze it it lasts in the refrigerator for I've had it in there for up to 10 days before um, and so you'll have that step done and you'll be able to make the uh, you know the chicken casserole mock chicken casserole or the scalloped potatoes or the hash brown casserole uh, much quicker because you don't have that going on we also have a recipe for sweet potato casserole which is traditional for Thanksgiving and green bean casserole we've got a broccoli and rice casserole these that I'm naming are in that list that it, it, that's up in the comment section of the 46 vegan Thanksgiving recipes they're all in the side dishes um, for that uh, article uh, also a vegan quiche that uses the cheese sauce um, the lasagna why is lasagna down there that shouldn't be in the side dishes that's a that's actually a typo that's in the main dishes um, so we got mashed potatoes uh, vegan mac and cheese uh, is on the list there's the broccoli casserole if you haven't tried the stuffed acorn squash it's another great one it's stuffed with a seasoned rice blend um, and it you know acorn squash uh, squash they are so perfect for stuffing they're the right shape they're beautiful color make a, they look so pretty on the table and then you add in that seasoned rice and the little uh, the bright green fresh parsley on the top it just is beautiful it makes a great I would even say you know more than a side dish I, I would eat that as a main dish too but we've got um, baked beans uh, potato salad uh, roasted Brussels sprouts even uh, 
coleslaw. Uh, it's a beautiful rainbow colored coleslaw. It uses the vegan mayonnaise. And then we get down to mixed bean salads. You can't go wrong with those guys. Most people will gobble those up. I, in my experience, uh, we'll gobble those up, talk about how delicious they are, and never realize that they are uh, a much healthier version. I don't put oil in them for the dressing. Um, and so, uh, actually, uh, I've gotten to where with these with one of the mixed bean salads, the dressing for that I go to is Dr. Esselson's um, three two one dressing, which is balsamic vinegar um, and uh, Dijon mustard and maple syrup. And so that is the only seasoning that I put on the mixed bean salad, and people love it. And we've got stuffed uh, sweet potatoes, kale, quinoa salad bowl. And it wouldn't be a bowl if you're going to serve it. You just make a big um, side dish of it. And um, then the black bean corn salad is a separate one. There's loaded vegan stuffed potatoes. They kind of make me think they're just like uh, the potato halves, loaded potatoes, but they go over very well. There's a quinoa chickpea salad. Um, there's all kinds of things. There's like so many on here that I won't name them all, but for appetizers, there's stuffed, uh, spinach, spinach stuffed mushrooms, um, Italian hummus that you could serve with. Do, do you guys know about, um, you know, I get questions sometimes about, especially with hummus, of course you can serve it and we do with uh, a veggie tray, but there are crackers that you can get that are compliant and completely oil free. They're called Mary's Gone Crackers and uh, you may have to order them online. Ingalls carries them. Uh, Jenna Michelle's uh, daughter, Aya, has found them for me before at Target. I think she got them at Target. But um, even Dr. McDougal approves of those because they're completely oil-free. They're nice and crunchy. They go well if you're going to make a spinach dip. And we have a spinach and artichoke dip that they go well with. Or a hummus, like if you're going to do a, a tray, um, then they are great for that, for you to have a cracker option along with the veggies. And, of course, always a fruit tray goes well, too. So um, let me see what I've got. I'm not home now, but can... Oh, okay. What are, um, I'm trying to see what Diane is answering. What? Oh, okay. The, the recipe. I asked you about the recipe. Okay. Thank you for doing that for the stuffed, uh, the stuffed shells because they sound delicious. Um, so what? Uh, Chris. Chris is saying, what about um, eggplant? Oh, oh gosh, yes. Um, you know what? I don't have any eggplant recipes on the website. Do you guys have some that you love, Chris? Do you have one that you enjoy? Um, I like eggplant. I don't cook with it uh, very often, and I don't have a recipe up for it. But I'm curious, do any of you have a compliant oil-free eggplant recipe? Because I think if you breaded it and, and baked it um, and maybe even used some of the uh, homemade vegan uh Parmesan cheese on it, that would be delicious. Okay, Beth with We Celebrate Eating Plants is saying sunflower seeds make a good mayo. Really? I've never made mayonnaise with uh, sunflower seeds. What else goes in it besides the sunflower seeds, uh, Beth? Um, just curious, the other ingredients that would go in there. Um, yes, Lori, I do have the vegan mayonnaise uh, recipe. It's on the site. I'm sure, Drenda, Michelle, if you don't mind putting that one up, if Lori, if you look, she'll put it up in the comments. Um, it's the easy one to make, and we use it all the time. Um, <laughs> Beth says she really uh, making it's really making her wish she had a bigger freezer because she wants all the things <laughs> you know some of these things especially if you have leftovers after thanksgiving it is great i have frozen uh any leftover of the um lentil shepherd's pie and even with the mashed potatoes on the top of it it freezes so well um i really was surprised last year we ate uh, because I made so much of it, taking it to multiple places, and it froze so well. So any anything, uh, Beth, you might have to invest in a little freezer. <laughs> We're very uh, lucky because I've in the in the garage we've got like a stand up uh, freezer, and oh, repeat the crackers. Okay, um, so 
is that what you're saying? Repeat, oh, cracker name. It's called Mary's Gone Crackers. Um, and you can get them on Amazon and you can find them in a number of stores. If, I know Target used to carry them and uh, they may still carry them. They are pricey. I won't kid you. Um, they're about $4 and something a box. But, uh, and we don't eat them all the time, but for entertaining, like when I am going to take a tray somewhere with hummuses and things on it, they are great uh, and so good and so crunchy. Um, and they have different flavors you can check out too. Uh, a number of, maybe four or five at least different flavors that you can check out. Um, where do you find the recipes? Uh, in the comment section, Lori, uh, scroll through and where you see uh, one that says, it, a couple, I know Drew and Michelle put it up and a couple of people have put it up. Um, it's on our website, Eat Plant Based. But if you go to the comment section, uh, they've put up, um, it's 46 Thanksgiving recipes. And so uh, you can either go directly to, just Google Eat Plant Based and go there and then type in Thanksgiving recipes in the search bar. Or just go uh, click on one of these links that folks are putting up because it'll take you right there. Oh, I never did talk about, let's, let's talk about the desserts because we've talked about appetizers with the, um, even there's a mushroom soup that's delicious on here. If you, if you want a soup, we've got mushroom soup on here. We've got a vegan cheddar broccoli soup, which of course uses the cheese sauce and it's terrific. Um, the spinach artichoke dip, if you wanted to serve it with those Mary's Gone Crackers, it's up there. There's a chocolate hummus, um, and, uh, there's actually a couple of different, but on the dessert section, we have, um, it's Leanne Campbell, Dr. Campbell's daughter, has a pumpkin pie recipe on here that she let us uh, share. There's a vegan carrot cake, um, easy chocolate fudge cake, um, vegan pump, all of these are vegan, I won't say vegan again, pumpkin bread, um, oatmeal cookies, uh, no, be no bake chocolate mousse pie, and uh, Think, don't let me. I'm going to come back to the chocolate mousse in just a minute because I want to tell you something. But there's uh, more. There's pumpkin cookies. There's chocolate mousse. This uh, cho this uh, chocolate cake is the one that I'm going to be making. I think um, that's the one. And cupcakes uh, and even pumpkin bread. So um, so some questions are are all of the recipes that I'm talking about gluten free and no some are and some aren't we don't happen to be gluten free uh, on a lot of them there are gluten free options if you look in the notes for the recipes there'll be gluten free options but not on all of them if you're looking for gluten free options just scroll down to the section or click on the section of each recipe that says uh, tips or your questions answered and uh, then we let you know if there's a if there's a substitute to make it be gluten-free like for the meatloaf the way that it is um, on the website is not gluten-free because it uses um, bulgur wheat but you don't have to use that you can use buckwheat groats um, some people have even told me they used brown rice with great success, so I haven't tried those, but I do know the bulgur oats will work very well. Um, and so, uh, I'm trying to see if, if some of these questions on here, uh, that we, and, and we're kind of, you know, we're coming up on it already. This was a planning, um, article that, uh, you know, I, I suggest on, on this article, and I'm just going to tell you, don't make the recipe if for the very first time on Thanksgiving Day or the day before. That's too much pressure. You still have a little bit of time. You have over a week. Try the recipe. If it's a new recipe that you haven't tried before, from not from anywhere, um, try it first. Make sure you get it tweaked right because I've myself tried a new recipe on Thanksgiving Day and then it puts you in a bad bind if it doesn't turn out well or if you don't like it or something goes wrong then you're trying to figure out something to take in its place so try now um, 
any recipes you're planning to make for a Thanksgiving get together just to relieve any pressure that uh, you'll just do a trial run on it basically and I do one recipe I don't try a whole bunch of recipe new recipes at the same time I try one new recipe at a time to reduce my stress level because <laughs> you know Thanksgiving can be stressful anyway um, so let me look right here I lost your comments guys where'd you go Oh, here you are. Okay. Um, so, oh, thank you for putting up a carrot cake. June Michelle, you are on it. She's putting up all kinds of the recipes that I'm mentioning. You go, girl. Um, so, that will make it easier. You can go to the article if you want to and start scrolling through it and you can see them. But she's putting them up. Um, uh, and yes, Mary's Gone Crackers. I know that's such a strange name. And I think a lot of people associate Mary with Dr. McDougall's wife. Mary McDougal, but they aren't um, associated with those crackers at all. That's not her, but they do um, they do approve of them. Um, okay, so Beth says she uses sunflower seeds, garlic, lemon juice, AV, ACV, water, and Vegco. Vegco uses pink salt. Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah, pink salt would kind of give it that little eggy flavor, wouldn't it? Um, but that's good. There's all kinds of different options. Oh, and Drenda Michelle has put up a link for Mary's Gone Crackers, too. So you can actually see, and after you click on that, you can see the different um, seasonings that they've got uh, for it. Oh, Chris, you put up your link. Oh, that actually looks delicious for the eggplant. Yum. I'll have to click on that and... Um, and go to it and kind of see because I probably do need some uh, eggplant recipes on the website which we don't have right now so um, okay so any of you who have made have had a success well you know what it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving it can be even just recently have you got a dish and it doesn't have to be my recipe it just needs to be plant-based and oil-free but do you have a recipe that you have tried on your family or extended family and friends that might be a good option for Thanksgiving that um, that has gone over well with your other family and friends. I'm just curious if any of you have things you know you're making for Thanksgiving because you've made them before and people, non-plant-based eaters, uh, love them. And I see a lot of you saying that you met, you know, you're the only plant-based person and you're taking your own food. Do other people at your gatherings, do they eat your food? as well I'm just curious um, if you've gotten any good feedback uh, on recipes that you've taken with non plant based people because to me that's the ultimate if you can get good feedback on a recipe and have people coming up to you asking for the recipe or just saying that they love it I call that a major major win um, because it kind of opens the door for any of them I never push being plant based on uh, family and friends. I always wait for them to come to me uh, and especially if they're having health problems or something some of them do and even extended family folks uh, or even friends of family that happen to be at uh, most recently over the last year or so we've had my sister-in-law's um, I guess uh, her um, father-in-law had, and, and mother-in-law have had some health problems and they have questioned me about being plant-based and that's after trying the food um, so you know that's good I mean I think it's a good way to be an ambassador for eating plant-based if you can take some delicious food and get people to ask you about it then you've got an open door to just say yeah you know it's plant-based um, and uh, oh, Mary, Mary's late to the gathering. That's okay. There's a replay of this uh, going to go up immediately after it's over. But we've talked about main dishes, side dishes, desserts, appetizers. Uh, Susan says butternut squash and apple soup. That sounds fabulous. I made a butternut squash soup last night. I actually had a hard time um, because I put cinnamon in it. It's a recipe that will be going up. Uh, very soon but I put cinnamon in it and it made it look darker than I wanted it to and so uh, and then when my husband tried it last night uh, he said he preferred it without the cinnamon so when the recipe goes up I'm not gonna list the cinnamon as an ingredient but it was delicious I loved it um, and we ate it 
we ate it last night so um yeah the butternut squash uh soup is a terrific option for thanksgiving and and i listed some other ones uh mushroom soup uh, the vegan cheddar broccoli is delicious it's great i'll tell you a trick with that one if you really want to make a good impression and if you're planning to or want to serve soup at your thanksgiving gathering you'll see when you pull that one up how pretty it is i serve it in a um in a bread bowl it's uh it says sourdough bread bowl um we've got somebody local that makes it most sourdough bread is made without oil but we have somebody local that makes it um, and just dig out the middle of it and then serve the broccoli cheddar soup in the middle of it. Oh, it's so good and it looks so pretty. It looks very fall and festive, so it's a good option too. Um, so let me see. Oh, you're welcome, Lynn, for the ideas. Yeah, I love, I love hearing uh, ideas from all of you too because that's very helpful. I love that Chris mentioned... Um, mentioned eggplant because that gets my mind thinking about some options of possible uh recipes you know to to try out and um and get up on the website so um let me see if there's anything oh we're gonna give away prizes guys i completely forgot i'm gonna give away two t-shirts and i'm gonna give away a um i'm gonna give away what did i say i was gonna give away oh, a starter kit i've never given away a starter kit before um, but I'm going to do that. So I'm going to give away two t-shirts and a starter kit for anybody who's still here. If you haven't seen the t-shirts before, they're eat plant-based and let food be, boy, these things are sideways, let food be thy medicine. And we have them in small, medium, large, and extra large. So if you want a t-shirt, then comment that you want a t-shirt and we're going to pick two winners and the other thing is the starter kit let me just think i'll show you one i actually i actually sell these online so it's uh the physicians committee um stuff the camera's weird <laughs> how I can get it but lots of their uh brochures and things um that we have with the physicians committee and you get it and a book and a a DVD set of lectures, of lessons from Dr. Neil Barnard. So uh, the person who wins this can choose which book they want. They can either have the 21 day kickstart book, um, the vegan starter kit book, or um, power of foods for your brain book. So we're going to choose a winner for each of those. So let me see what we got here. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm scrolling down because I scrolled up, so now I've got to scroll down. So who wants the t-shirt? Uh, oh, get jail. Get jail, you're the first one that I see. Oh, well, thank you, Drina Michelle. She's putting up the starter kits. So you'll be able to see Samantha. Okay, Samantha. Samantha, I tell you what, we're going to send you a t-shirt as long as you are in the States for shipping purposes. Um, just send me a message. I'm going to write it down. Send me a message with, um, your address. Oh, get jail. Uh, send me a message with your address and the size of shirt that you want. And I'll send you a t-shirt. We need to give away one more t-shirt and then we'll give away the plant-based starter kit. Oh, here's another one. No. Oh, uh, Susan. Susan Miller wants a t-shirt. Okay. Susan, um, we will send you a t-shirt too. You haven't won anything before, have you? I don't think you have. Okay, Susan Miller. All right, Susan, same thing for you. Just send me a private message um, with your size that you want and your address, and I will send that out to you. And now, let's give away starter kit. Let's see who we got here. Hang on. Um, Susan Miller, I have what? Susan Miller said, I have. I don't think I'm seeing these in the right order. Um, I think it looks beautiful, and the presentation does make a difference on people's willingness to try it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Drew and Michelle, I hear you saying that. What looks beautiful? 
but yes you're absolutely i absolutely agree presentation is everything some people won't uh, uh, you know we're visual that's where uh that's where it begins so um okay veronica veronica wants the starter kit okay veronica are, are you in the states uh, i haven't seen your name pop up before so if you want the starter kit uh we will send it to you i'll tell you what um um i'm gonna see i'm gonna get off of here for just a second actually i can come back to you i'm not leaving you guys i was just trying to get a, a thing to respond um if you the starter kit veronica if you want to private message me of course your address but also which book that you want you have the choice of vegan starter um book uh, the 21 day kickstart book um the um oh you know what the diabetes books are on the way i ordered we do have a diabetes book too if you have diabetes that might be an option it's dr neil barnard's diabetes prevent and reverse diabetes book or the power of food for your brain book and you can order the starter kits online guys they are available online i think they're 35 dollars, and they come with the folder full of physicians committee uh literature a book of your choice and the set the dvd set of his lectures so uh you can buy them online if you want to um oh yeah thank you subscribe uh please do subscribe jenny michelle just put up a link for subscribing um and that's the key because we send out emails on sunday wednesdays and fridays that's how to get the latest recipes and information from us and to make sure that you get um, you know everything because we post on all of the social media outlets regularly but there's all kinds of things that algorithms and things that play in to whether you actually get to see what we post or not even if you've liked the page or followed the page or anything like that you still don't see everything but if you subscribe you do um, so that is um, thank you for putting that up there I completely forgot about it and please remember to sprinkle in water guys uh, on your um, on your you know pages and, and with your family and friends to help spread the message of uh, plant-based recipes and health and everything that's how we continue to grow and grow this group so the winners so the winners that we've picked are Samantha um, you are gonna get a t-shirt Susan Miller you're getting a t-shirt and I declare I did not write down Veronica's whole name. Veronica, I'm not sure how to say your last name, J-A-H-R. Um, but you are getting, oh, St. Louis. You're in St. Louis. Good deal. You are getting um, the plant-based kit of your choice. Um, or the book of your choice and the DVDs that come with it and the folder of literature from Physicians Committee that come with it. That's the same no matter what book that you get. Um, so we will just private message me uh, your information, what you want, and your address, and we'll get that in the mail to you. Does anybody have any more questions before we get off of here? Oh, there's Leslie too. Hey, Leslie, she wanted the starter kit, please. Ah, ah. I tell you what. Let me make myself a note when we come back which i need to talk to you about next live show i'll make a note we're going to give another starter kit away okay because um it's got so much information that's very very helpful so we'll see if we can give another one away um oh you won the susan won the measuring spoons that's okay susan we'll go ahead and send you a t-shirt we'll send you a t-shirt too um Oh, and Kim wants a starter kit, too. We will give more starter kits away, guys. Um, we'll plan to give another one away. We won't be on live next week. Um, with Thanksgiving coming up and everything, the next live is going to be December the 5th, which is a Tuesday. We're going to do it at 1 p.m. And this is where I was talking about, I was going to mention chocolate mousse. I think we're going to make chocolate mousse. Um, you can make the chocolate mousse and eat it as it is, or you can uh, do a pie crust with it and serve it as a chocolate mousse pie. And it is delicious. And I'm thinking it'll be after Thanksgiving, but we'll be starting to uh, think about uh, what we need to be our Christmas menus. So let's do a chocolate mousse uh, for the live demo on December the 5th. 
and I'll be putting up an event link and everything. So, but I hope you guys are going to have a great um, Thanksgiving, Leslie. I can't wait. No problem. All. Uh, well, we'll try. Hopefully next week, Leslie, you will get. Um, you'll get a chance at that. We will. I've made myself a note. So uh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Samantha, okay. Every time I see Get Jail, I have to look back at your name. Uh, thank you for sending the info. I will be looking at those later today and get things out in the mail to you guys for the winners. Thank you for watching. I hope some of it's been helpful. And um, so I hope that uh, you guys have a terrific Thanksgiving, that it's successful. I would love to hear how some of the recipes that you try go over with family and friends. Um, and so, yeah, everybody, uh, wonderful time to just reflect and be thankful and be thankful for the community that we are creating here um, and, um, and just for family and uh, everything. So appreciate you watching and getting through the hiccups at the beginning with uh, it not showing the face and the screen share, but that's okay. We got through it. All of you guys helped so much and I appreciate it. So take care. We'll see you again on December the 5th and um, yeah, have a great holiday. Bye guys.